it just kissed the grass. Hello, my name is Stuart here at HobbyKing.com here to uh, present to you this morning on this glorious, glorious morning, a glorious rendition of one of the more popular and iconic models from Avios. Uh, it's of course the C130, you've seen it before. This is now the V2 iteration of that classic model. Now the modeling connoisseurs amongst you watching now would of course already know the, uh, the V1 C130 that was out a few, in, a few years ago, both in military schemes. This V2 has both a military scheme and a civilian transport scheme and it has a, uh, quite a few refinements to improve it over the previous versions of the C130. I'm going to run through those now. First of all, in terms of spec, it stays pretty much identical. The, uh, the brushless motors and speed controllers that are pre-installed are the same. Uh, it runs on the same 20T200 4S, although the installation and positioning of that is now more convenient. Um, but primarily the changes, the most noticeable one that you'll see, of course, is the scheme change. We've gone for schemes that are helpful in two ways. First of all, they are lighter weight schemes because they use less paint. So it means a overall lighter all up wing loading, which results in better flying. But not only that, they're high vis as well. You've got the super high vis US Coast Guard military scheme, or you've got this uh, more striking civilian transport scheme. The choice is yours. It comes out of the box with all decals and all paint pre-applied. All you need to do in terms of assembly is install the uh, propellers, screw on the wing, screw on the tail plane, and set up your receiver and you're pretty much ready to go. As well as features that it has brought over from the V1, you, the, the cargo door remains, the sequence gear doors with landing lights, they remain too, as well as all the really nice details that you'll see throughout the model. But I'm going to touch a little bit more on the changes that you'll see on the V2. The scheme, it's lighter, it's more vibrant. We've already mentioned that. Flap geometry has been greater improved, so you get that full deflection now. Certainly much more scale on that, certainly uh, with the uh, lighter wing loading, really aids in the slow flight. And what I'm going to show here today is just how much slow you can fly the C-130, because remember, as a full size, the C-130 is not a fast aircraft. So it was important for the V2 that we were able to reduce the speed to a point where it looked that much more scale, but without becoming uh, unstable in flight. And certainly the V2 is not unstable at all. In fact, it's very, very nice to fly. One of the other key things that's changed is the rudder uh, setup and configuration. Before the servo was underneath and it had a bit of an odd configuration and setup and added needless weight. That's been simplified now. We've moved to a more traditional and practical installation with the rudder servo installed on the side of the vertical stab. Also gives a much more direct linkage as well. And of course, it's a lighter setup, which when added to the lighter paint scheme means again, an all up lighter weight all round, which translates into much better slow flying performance. So remember, this is a C-130. So if you want to fly scale, as scale as possible, you want it to fly as slow as possible, but still be stable. Uh, very much so, that's uh, a key thing with the V2. It's that much more stable at the slower speeds too. So for you, again, for those of you that did know the, the V1 and liked it, this is just a much better version of it. For those of you that haven't seen the Avio C-130, any, uh, any time before, here it is. Here it is in a very, very vibrant scheme, both military, military and civilian transport. Both are available right now from hobbyking.com with spare parts available too. But right now, there's nothing left to really do than to get out into this field on this beautiful crisp morning. This is grass, so I'm gonna show you how it operates off grass because it does coat very, very well, even when it's wet as it, as it is today. And uh, we're gonna take the, uh, the V2C130 through its paces. You'll, so you'll see me primarily flying the US Coast Guard one, and then uh, Andres, our cameraman behind the camera, has the uh, transport version set up on his radio, so we're gonna get some footage of that too. Without further ado, let's get a 2200 4S and go fly the C-130 V2. Okay, so welcome back. Out there is the US Coast Guard C-130 V2 from Avios. Avios, sorry cameraman. Um, and speaking of cameraman, uh, Andres behind the camera, he's flying the, uh, 
the uh, cargo version, the Avios cargo version. So we'll show you some footage of that a little later as well. But they both fly the same, so we're just going to give the main flight review on this one because I happen to have it set up on my radio. So I'm going to talk you through it, and we're going to go over the 2200 uh, Forest. You ready? Ready. Okay, I got mid mid flap, low rate, taking off. Just let it build up speed, and then give it a little bit of up. Beautiful. I like to do a nice scale takeoff there. Well, the scale as you can get. Gears coming up. Flaps are going away, and I'm turning. How's that looking on camera? Camera loves the orange. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love the orange actually. No, to be, I like the orange. I prefer the other scheme, personally. Okay, this is half throttle, no flaps. Very, very nice. Now you can see what I mean in the opening there. I talked about the high visibility. Uh, you can see that this really, really pops, especially on look at that gorgeous sky. Good on camera. Very good. Just cruising, I haven't, haven't even gone above half throttle yet, but just to get it out of the way, because it's obviously a sports scale model, we'll, uh, we'll go full power, you ready? Ready. Okay, full power now, and it's ridiculous, for a C130. But it grooves, look at that. Really, really locked in. Gonna go up, do a stall turn off of this. Very nice, another full power pass. I'm going to do a roll here. This is low or mid rate roll. Ready on camera? Ready. Even mid rate. Well, that's quite a scale. I haven't got much movement on the uh, ailerons on this. It's a C130. It should be nice and sluggish. Speaking of which, I'm going to go on mid flap now. I'm going to cruise by. That's mid flap. Let's bring it around into wind. Still with the mid flap on on the climb out. Coordinate the turn. A little bit of rudder there too. All right now full flap. Now you can see with those weight reductions that we can really get it flying to a crawl, especially with that full geometry of the flap now working. Oh, it just kissed the grass. Very, very mm -hmm. nice. Flaps go away and I'm climbing out. Right around to the left because the sun's there to my right. Now don't forget, of course, this is a C-130. This is in the search and rescue US Coast Guard um, skiing, but it does still have the cargo door, which you can see deploying there. You see that on camera? Very nice. All right, so let's do a full dirty pass. There it is. How's that on camera? Beautiful. Super, super nice. All right, that's dirty. Power, everything goes away now, including the uh, cargo door. Ready for a loop? Yeah. Okay, full up, and it will handle it. Look at that. And round again. Get a fast pass coming this way. Very, very locked in feel, especially with a little bit of coordination in the turn. There you go, full power, fast pass, lights are on. Oh, ho, ho. yes, you're going to be searching and rescuing at a very fast rate at that speed. One more pass this way. Ready? Full power, a bit lower to the deck. Ah, oh, lovely. Looks great in the sunlight, too. All right, now let's take it up and show you the stall very, very quickly. It will stall. We have light in the wing loading. Sorry about that. But it will stall. Okay, speed's coming down. Then I'm going to pull up elevator. All right, pulling up elevator. And it just starts to go away there. It's not really a wing drop, is there? No. Again, we've lightened the wing loading. We've reduced the, uh, the, um, the amount of uh, wiring in there. And it's a lighter paint scheme. And there's no dead weight in the frame now either. So it's much more harmonized. This is full flap now. Oh, oh. Hold a little bit of elevator. Look at that. I told you it flew a lot slower. Granted, this is with full flap. Look at that. I'm keeping it within the diameter of the field. Still on full flap. I'm going to go around to the little bit of power. Yeah, go around to the right now. A little bit of power in the turn. Then keep full flap. A little bit of rudder. How's that looking? Beautiful. Super, super slow. Look at that. Look at those propellers as well. Oh, all right. So, uh, they are for transport in rough strips. Uh, of course, this is the Coast, uh, US Coast Guard version, but I am going to show you a touch and go. Gears coming down. Don't forget you got those LEDs. How are we doing on the time on the camera? We might have to land. Okay, all right. Well, then I'll show you a landing first. 
because the camera's about to run out. All right, I'm on full flaps now, gears down. Flaring, 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 let the speed be off flaring. Look at that. That's easy. Now, how long have we got left on the camera? Nothing. Seconds? All yeah. right. So that was the C130. Look out for the bonus footage of the uh, cargo version, Avios V2 C130. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Hobby King.